Look. Nice to see you. Welcome nice to Come on in. Welcome. Thank you. Here they come. Here they come. Hi. Hi. This is Oprah. She's like everybody's aunt. The one lady that you never met, but you feel like you could talk to or be yourself around. Just to meet her is mind-blowing. You know, people always say to me, oh, you look better than you do on TV. I think you look just as good as you do on TV. Because I think when people say you look better, that's, I think, I well, know, that's too bad. Too, I look really <laughs> awful on television. They're like, you are so much thinner than I thought. I and know. I'm like, Believe me, you. I get that a lot. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot, yeah. I think we're going to go over to this staircase family and do some photos. Yay, yeah, makes a good photograph. <laughs> I tell all my girls at school. One, two, three. Yay! Yeah. First, it's like a group photo, and then it goes like my mom and Bruce, Lamar and Chloe, Scott and Courtney, you know, for whatever, and then it's like. Kim. Thanks, Kim. Oprah and like, just Kim. Kendall and Kylie, and then, and Rob. Hi. Hi. Hey. <laughs> and then I'm like on the end, and like Kendall's like towering over me. I don't even want to be a part of this. Scott. I'm doing the Arthur George thing with the socks, and then I'm gonna extend underwear and like undershirts. Oh, that would be perfect. With Mike. the same name, but Lamar would want to be involved too. But Lamar doesn't even care about the name; he just wants to be involved. That'd be awesome. I would probably do anything I could to help Rob out in a business sense, just because you know I think he's struggling a little bit. He just doesn't really know how to focus and put his mind to things, and he's kind of used to his mother doing things for him. He needs to understand that being a man sometimes you have to do everything on your own. The socks. I feel it's signed up, right? Yeah, but I need to get the contracts finished. I get confused. Okay, Kylie. Kendall is the tall one. Her name is longer. Okay. So Kendall is the tall one. Her name Kylie is longer. Is shorter. Okay. Short one. No, really short no, someone one. said to me, they, well, Kendall has dark hair. <laughs> Everybody has dark hair in this family. Do you want to listen and watch what's going on? Yeah. Or do you not? Okay, so yeah. Lamar and Chloe are going to. Uh, and then you and Kylie are second. Uh, been really eager to meet with Tyler, who is a medium. He's still young. He's 19, I think. These are my sisters. Oh, oh my gosh. Great to meet you. Yeah, Me too. Great to meet nice you. To meet I you. actually know your cousin, Kara. Hi, hi. He works with my cousin all the time. So I feel like there's a family connection and almost it's like cosmic that I'm supposed to be meeting with him. The general idea of how I do what I do is that I actually work as a clairvoyant. So I see information. Mm -hmm. um, as opposed to audibly hearing it, I get visuals. Did you always know that you had like a gift? When I was 10 years old, my grandmother was ill with terminal cancer, and as she was getting really ill, I woke up one night and knew she was going to pass, and we got the call two minutes later that my grandmother had passed. Oh my God, wow. And so that's kind of a, was a pretty dramatic moment, but I believe we all have an intuition, mm -hmm. but to varying extents. She always tells me she's psychic. Well, I don't think I like could read her palm, but I have a very great intuition. Sure. And I feel energies and right. spirits really well, and I'm not saying, like, oh my God, there's a ghost in the corner. Right, right, right. But I know when I feel something, and I like pay that respect. I think our tuition is almost like a compass that we have inside of us. And if we go with it, it can really drastically improve our life. So. And if I haven't like how you see things or whatever, if I, that hasn't happened to me mm -hmm. yet, like would that never happen to me? It's one of those things that you don't have to embrace, but if you chose to embrace it and mm -hmm. chose to kind of connect and not be afraid of it, that's the right. biggest thing. Fear is the quickest way to shut something down. You definitely do have that really keen intuition. Does she? I would say both of you out of you two, probably the strongest for you too. I feel that about you. Yeah. I don't feel it about you. <laughs> also interesting to note, this house has something in it. What do you mean? I don't know. It's kind of an odd feeling. Right when I walked in, it was like there was a feeling like there was something here. This is one of those weird things that's kind of coming through. I'm referencing, am I smelling Thai? I don't know what this would be. You know ties like people mm -hmm. wear? Mm -hmm. I'm pulling it out, but I'm holding it to my face. What if it's dad? My dad had hundreds of ties, and I always smell his stuff. Yeah, like, I have a jacket and yeah. his shirts, and I haven't ever washed them, and right. I just always, like, yeah. smell them. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Hello, hello. Hello, Chloe. How, How are, are you? you? It's so good to I'm see so you. I'm so happy to see you. Thanks so much. You look gorgeous. Oh, so do As you. As always. Queer High is my stylist! I 
cannot wait. He is so fabulous and fierce. And I know he's about to bring that to my wardrobe. Try to be as honest as you can with your dad, I think. Okay. Like, you have to live for yourself. Self-love is not selfish. So... That's a good one. That. I was about to say, that's no, a good one. Put preach on that, yeah. yeah. And I got it. Yeah. Play that. Okay, you guys bond and play games. Right. Thank you. Bye, Walk you guys. out that catwalk, yeah. girl. Let's see yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's okay. do the first look. Tell me what you oh, think. Wow. Okay, so amazing. Let's I feel like this is my like pretty girl moment. I mean, like the, big mistake. <laughs> you are a very pretty woman. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so how are you feeling about that conversation with your dad? I want to know what will you say? Practice on me. My heart is racing. I have so much anxiety. It's so crazy. Dude, I know. <gasps> Believe me, I know. We, I, we've all been through it. I know. Uh. Um. What did you say? I love you, I want you in my life, but I've got something to tell you. I am gay, that doesn't change who I am. How was it after that? Uh, to be completely real, it was hard at first. Was it? Um, the first few months were very, very difficult. It wasn't that they were mean to me, it was just that they didn't understand. You've got to accept the fact that they are gonna be shocked. Your dad right. is gonna be shocked. Right, it's not gonna be like, oh, okay, great, this is, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And there are gonna be questions. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna be as ready as I could be at this point in time. Well, I simply am <laughs> gonna give you a hug. Okay. I am. And I'm hoping that this is what your dad's gonna do too. Yeah. I spent a large part of my life trying to please my dad, from joining the military, to trying to act macho, to hiding my sexuality. And I'm at a point in time now where I wanna be my real self. But I am afraid that my father will not be able to receive the message I want him to receive in the way that I want him to receive it. I hate leaving Chloe alone with Khadijah and Bobby coming, but it's part of the business. Joe, what up? What's up? Hey, no, what's good? Relaxing, man. I think I'm gonna have uh, Chloe cook and uh, invite you over for dinner. Hang out a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, she can burn it down. I'm scared a little bit, but it's just dinner, you know. I'm just take baby steps one day at a time. For the next couple of days, I'll have you come over. We're gonna chill out a little bit, have a drink, get something to eat. Yeah, that'd be nice. Are they here? Oh my god. Hi! hi. <gasps> Say hi, good mommy. Look at all that hair you have. Hi. Hi. Hey there, hi there. <laughs> hi. Yeah, there you go. Right on time. You feel that? New babysitter, baby. New babysitter. What are your hours again? <laughs> <laughs> So happy to see Khadijah. Don't get me wrong, but she forgot to tell me that her brother is with her. Bobby is way too comfortable. They have, I think, 12 suitcases, a beautiful baby, and then a pretty rowdy dog. <laughs> Sorry about our weather. I can't oh, have things at I'm here for one day. Wait, hi. Mwah. Mwah. You look beautiful. Should we hide my water? Yeah, you're selling smoothies yeah. today, baby. Okay. It has been 11 seasons, and we are still keeping up with the Kardashians between their reality shows, their appearances, their apps, their fashion lines, their books, their cosmetics. We're exhausted. Exhausted. You brought us something. Yes, it this is from your, your new pack, right? Yeah. Okay. This is so avocado. Okay, this pine tastes better at home. It does? Mine tastes... This one tastes weird. Okay. It doesn't have the honey. Don't even try it. No, it's it. missing something. It needs more, more manuka honey. One thing has relieved. 
Yes. yes. Are you and Scott getting back together? Are you were friends. Do you miss him when he's not around? I don't know. I mean, we talk all the time, so I feel like I don't really get that yeah. chance, but you know. All right. We got nothing else. Subway pass? I have a subway pass. I have two metro cards. Wait, what is that? That makes me serious. No. Nope. Adrian is my friend and my brother's ex girlfriend. She is an actress and has done many TV roles and movies. My agent called me and was like, Do you want to do One Life to Live? And I was like, Totally, I'll do it, like just for fun, you know? Wait, you're actually going to be on One Life to Live? Yes. They created a character for you? Yes, but I don't know how to act. And on the end of the script, it says to kiss the guy. Okay. And like, don't you feel like that makes you like a whore? Are you on crack right now? No, it just really makes me feel uncomfortable. What if this is an opportunity that opens up to other opportunities? But what am I gonna do? I'm not gonna be like Nicole Kidman. I need to see what the script is. Okay, I have it back in the place. Okay, we should read the script. Adrian is like the perfect person to tell me exactly what to do. Let's see, where does it start? But I didn't do anything. I wouldn't have done anything if he hadn't done it first. You can't sm stop smiling. If you and I were handcuffed to each other in a serious situation, we obviously committed a crime, would you be like, I wouldn't have done it if you didn't either? No. Because <laughs> I'm not an actress. Like, I feel. Okay, if somebody literally had us handcuffed together and we've committed a crime, okay. we're arrested. Stop smiling. Okay. Why are you smiling? I feel like it's so okay. lame. Okay. Oh, stop laughing. Hey, there you are. Look at How you. Are you. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good to see you. Thanks for coming out. It's nice and warm today. Yeah, I know. We got a little warmth. How are you Did doing? I change putters is the question. You putt good with I your putter? Thinking, yeah, but maybe there's one that I can just kind of stand over and it just goes in the hole. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Shall we play? You need anything? I don't. Let's do it. All right, have fun. Thanks. Thanks. All right. So I'm warning you, I'm not a great golfer. No, oh, come on. I'll get you there, I promise. Let's go warm up. I love playing with the, you know, with the ladies, the guys, everybody's like beating on each other and saying dirty things. You know, the girls are more civilized. And they have boobs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they're more pleasing to look at. There you go. Still got that little fade. Get this shoulder, a little, just a little bit more there. See? <laughs> See, look at that. That was long and straight. <laughs> Golf with Angie. She's a great looking lady. Good golfer, great conversationalist. You know, if you want to water your game down and play from the women's tees, it's okay. I'll take the challenge, Bruce. I can play off the same tees as you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, am I in heaven? Yeah, look at that. Damn, you're gonna outdrive me. By a mile. I actually did outdrive you on that one. One down, 17 to go, it'll be a good day. Thank you. What do you get, Lauren? What are you getting? The orichetti with the broccoli, and it's delicious. Where's the orichetti? What? what? Yes, I love you. This is Reggie. Should I answer? Yes. 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 Okay. Do it now. Yes, yes, yes. You're going to do it. Now. Hello? Okay. Wait, you're telling me to have Miles Austin pay for a car wash? Listen. Anything else? 
And you are absolutely loud and clear. I will never, ever confuse the car washer when he thought it was your car. Kim and Reggie both get their cars washed at the same car wash place, and they accidentally charge Reggie for Kim's car wash because they both have the same kind of car. How could a person really be mad about something like a car wash? I think Reggie is mad about something else. Don't ever call you again. Okay. He just called and said, don't ever charge a car wash to me again. You can have Miles Austin pay for it. I feel like my past relationship ended months ago, and it is hard when you don't want to hurt someone's feelings, but you're trying to move on. Wow. He keeps on texting me. That validated it, like, now there's not even an ounce of a question of are you doing the right thing. knew that Soho would be the perfect space for a Dash store. We're in a two-year lease, and I'm so excited to turn it into something amazing. This is fun. It is a maze. Hi. Hello. I'm Gregory. I'm Kim. Nice to meet you. We've hired a designer, Greg, from Studios Go, who we're really excited to work with and get this dash space started. If you can imagine this whole thing lined with fabric, floor to ceiling, right? The walls. All the walls from this point. So while Greg is going on about all the plans for the store, I get a text from Kanye West. Kanye and I have been good friends for a long time. You know, he's someone that we definitely respect his fashion taste and his style, and so we wanted him to come check out the store. Mr. West is in the building. Me and Chris Jenner, Stop. you're going down. The best chef win. Does anyone want to hear the story about last year, how Courtney copied me on my Christmas lights? It was a string that hung down straight. I want this for my wrapping. Last year, you copied my I wrapping. Just, no, no, I no, just no, 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 asked no. him. Do you have for the clear? I'm getting clear. I will come for them if they copy anything that I'm doing. Can I have an ice skating ring? It's a f***ing great idea. She's taking this way too seriously, so I kind of want to mess with her. She's going to die when she sees my ice skating rink. <laughs> Hi. How the hell are you? How good are those gingerbread cookies? Oh, God. I'm good. How the hell are you? Grand. I don't want to get you sick. Okay. I'll sit with the bears. OK. And, and Jocko. Jocko. <coughs> Can't believe the dog attacked it, and we put it back together again. No way. When Kendall was living here, when I was on maternity leave, her dog devoured the whole thing. And Kendall was like, I need to tell you something, sister. And I was like, what? And she was like, six. Eight, Jocko. I was like, that's the only thing I have of my dad's. Like, why would six go for just that? Yeah. And look, it's back together again. Oh, Jocko. Knock, knock. Hello, Joj. Hi. Hi, guys. Never seen those pants before. I makes them. I feel like they're Yeezus. Uh, I'm kidding, Glo. All right, guys, so what is the plan for Thanksgiving? I thought we were going to Palm Springs. Good I don't know. Right. I'll call mom. Are you sure I can call her? It would be my pleasure. Hello. Hey, mom. Hi, honey. We wanted to get the plan for Thanksgiving. Well, I want to take everybody to the desert. If everybody would come there, how much fun would that be for us all to be together there? Mom, I'm going to be in Cleveland, as you know, but it does sound like so much fun. I'm so excited that we're all going to be in Palm Desert and celebrate Thanksgiving and start a new tradition. Like, this is exciting. And I love that we're all staying together. That's what makes it so fun. Even if there's sleeping bags and we're figuring it out and sleeping on the couch, that's what makes it fun. This is like the good old days in Lake Tahoe. Oh, my I'm God. Like the, I'm like the new Nana. Yeah, you are. Did we ever do that at Nana's? It was just us. Now it's just yeah. us and our grandkids. Our, our kids. Our kids.
Don't. I'm not that what? old yet. I was like, I just had a baby eight months ago. What the f are you talking about? I'm Mark. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. I'm nice Chris. To meet you guys. Nice to see you. You guys having a good time? Yeah, yeah. I love good. it here. And congratulations, yeah. you just got married, right? Yeah, thank you. My oldest son just got married on the 21st, right? Yes. So cool. they're in Hawaii right now. It's having a good time. Oh, that's nice. so, yeah, they right heard you're yeah, having a big um, parade on Friday. We are. Yeah. We've been is fourth the, of July. It's one of the old. Fourth of July. Is it like July. packed? Or? It's packed. One of the oldest parades in the country. It's like the fire department. The fire departments no. from all over. The ambulances. <laughs> we have from all over the place. Do so. the fireworks? Well, we do actually uh, Friday night. Because the kids would love yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. The parades in the morning. Or, Maybe uh, you could Friday sit on night. a float, Courtney. Yeah. Totally. And decorate, help decorate it and wave. Scott's from around here, right? Yeah. He's like our claim to fame. Well, he's, he's actually from Manhattan. Yeah. And he grew up there, but he moved here, um, I think, when he was like 13. Yeah. Scott's kind of our claim to fame, too. <laughs> <laughs> nice nice to meet you guys. Nice meeting you. So cute. Thanks for okay. stopping by. No problems. This Hard. Frozen yogurt machine. The frozen yogurt machine. I hear it in that room. It's so annoying. The baby she hears it in her room. I'm getting a thing built around it. Well, while you're in this delicious mood, why don't we discuss Christmas Eve? Okay, what about it? Well, you're a little tough on me as far as doing the same thing every year. Yeah. So I just don't want to disappoint like anybody. Same. I just think the kids have evolved from like having it just be your friends because like it's kind of like this older party. It's like kids there's we don't even know. There's reindeer. There's a bunch of people hot dog we don't on a stick. that we like. There's literally people we don't know. Our Christmas Eve party was this fun party that I just remember of being friends and family and my grandparents and cousins and it was just the best night ever. But my mom's been doing it for so long that it's turned into something different. Like it's just kind of a party just for my mom and mostly her friends. This Christmas party, it's such a beautiful night, but it's turned into such a shit show with so many people that we only see at this one night a year. Here, right? here. We want it to be a place that we could just have fun and it's all of our friends and definitely family and my mom's friends too, but a good mix of, of both so we can have a good time and really just enjoy each other. The time has come that maybe we switch the location and we have it here at our house. I know Kanye like loves to put things together. So if he knows that we're doing a Christmas Eve party, he'll have like so many ideas and we just have a different vibe and different energy. And we all collectively, all the siblings feel that way. So I'm outnumbered. You're outnumbered. Well, that makes me sad. I want you to like give us your blessing. I don't want to like just steal it from you. No, I want you guys to be able to do this till you're my age and one of your kids takes over. That's the whole, that's the joy. It's just the, the thought of actually not doing it at my house. I'm getting emotional. It makes me sad. It does, it makes me so sad. Aww. You know, it's just that magic that you can make and make everybody feel so amazing on one night a year. You know, it's that love. You're like making me cry, seeing you cry. It's just a party. I know, but it's not just a party. It's changing of the guards. Well, you can have the party. It's the right thing. You can have it. So I have a missed call from court and I call her back and she was like, this isn't to criticize you or anything like that. I'm like, anyone who starts a conversation I'm like that, okay. And then she was like, me and Kendall were talking about you. And she goes, you're really scared about how your life is gonna turn out. What a she freak. thinks I'm scared and that's why I'm acting out because I don't want to let my old life go. What? She's so off. I just was blown away by her. This is just absurd. 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 
and because she, Courtney was like, and Kendall agrees with me. No one understands us like us. What are we going to do? Because it's hard for me to, like, even be around her at this point. We should just call Kendall, because, like, I just don't get why she's such a freak. Hey, how much were you talking about me on a scale from 1 to 10? Um, we weren't talking that much The fact that you even hang out with Courtney, you're such a freak. What? I'm just kidding. Why? You're my best friend right now. Kim is my best friend right now. I question so. your morals. Why? I question your humanity. She told me she's going out of town with the kids for the holidays. What? What? I thought that was weird, but like, I, I tried to convince her out of it a little bit. Like, that is just the wildest thing. That's not okay. No. Oh, I think she'll end up coming. That but do you think it's like a did. cry for help? Like like a cry for attention? Is she the new Rob? Yeah, that is crossing the line. It makes me sad if she's not coming because I'm just going to miss the kids and just the tradition of it all. I just think given everything that's gone on, the last thing we need is separation like this. And for Courtney to say she doesn't think she's going to spend Christmas with us, it's just so excessive. It's like ridiculous at this point. The divide is going to get worse and worse the more time that we just ignore what's really going on. Every time we talk about her, I get more upset. She drives me so crazy, I just don't even know what to do. Hi, Chris. How are you? How are you? Good to see you. <laughs> Thank you, you so much for coming. I'm so excited. And I'm Chloe. Hey, Chloe. Hi. Hi, David. Nice, <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Robert. Hi, nice Pleasure. to meet you. You guys smell so good. Who yeah. do? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to meet Dave LaChapelle. My only concern is that I just have seen a lot of his work where most people are nude. He does them in an artistic way, but this is still a Christmas card shoot, so I just hope that this is like a PG version. Over the years, we've done these family <laughs> Christmas show? cards. I've That's seen them. Okay. I've seen them. Yeah. Like this will be a little bigger. different. Good, than, uh, good. It's not going to be Christmassy. They're like, not going to kind of, be wearing yeah. hats with no, red balls. No, 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 no. Okay. It's not going to be like red and green or anything <laughs> like that but it will definitely be something really unexpected. It's almost like opening this surprise. What are your ideas? Because you have such crazy, amazing ideas. Yeah, I love taking high art and sort of mixing it with contemporary pop culture. And You know, I want to make it visually just interesting and beautiful and then you can draw it in, but on a deeper level, it says something about the time and place where we live, you know? I, you know, I am not this artsy, fartsy brain. I really don't know what he's talking about in this meeting. You know, like it'll be an experience for sure. <laughs> but what I did take from this is that this is not your typical Christmas card. Well, I started with this idea. There's like this futuristic kind of messy world where you guys are behind these windows and there's a street outside, it's wind machines blowing and there's a lot of electricity, there's a lot of smoke, there's it's water. It's like an action film set. It's an action film set. Literally. God, I'm also having fire. I mean, there's gonna be an upside down vehicle on the road, like spun out and it's, it's nuts. What about my kids? When you add the kids, it becomes a little bit more complicated. The lights and the core, you know, it's just gonna add a level of stress and I won't be able to focus. And maybe it's better to leave um, the kids out. David would feel more comfortable shooting if my kids weren't in the Christmas card, but I really think my kids should be a part of it. I think it'd be cool to see girls. You represent the matriarchs of the family, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the women. We're getting disguised. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my God, you're freaking me out like Planet of the Apes. You look kind so of like, yeah. You look this. like a porn star. Well, it's great. Hey. You look hot. Nobody's ever gonna recognize me. Where are the kids' trucks? In recent years, it's become a little more challenging to go shopping, to say the least, because we start to get recognized, and the minute you take a selfie with someone, everyone wants a selfie, and then I get distracted, and I can't get my shopping done. So leave it to Jonathan. He thinks it would be a really good idea for us to go in a disguise. No, <laughs> she a pet. <laughs> It's the perfect solution to not really being able to concentrate and focus on our Christmas list. What are you doing? <laughs> Hi, y'all. Well, how are you? Have you met my friend? Hello. 
50% of all carpets going out of business. What are you guys doing? We're going shopping. For some trucks for my grandchildren. Guys, I'm in the middle of doing interviews. Well, you can go take your interviews and screw yourself. F*** off. Adios. <laughs> Oh, hello, Mama Jo! <laughs> well, look who's here. The three divas have arrived. Merry guys. Christmas, you guys. <laughs> me, darling. You look gorgeous, honey. Oh, thank you. All right, the Jew is here. Guys. Hey, Scotty. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah, everybody. <laughs> it's Happy Mazel. Mazel. The Jew is here. Oh, it's uh, the gentleman. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Batman smells. Jingle all the way. I'm the last here. I've never been last to anything. Guess what? There's a first for everything. I know. How's your nose? Please. My nose is better, thank you. Bruce, so I get the happened? stitches out tomorrow. They Don't touch that it. Little red spot. Don't you guys, this Christmas, we have a lot to be thankful for. Only one of us has stitches. Why don't you pop some rosé over there in the corner? Oh, I'm popping it. You guys, I'm so excited because I want to be able to have like a moment where we can all share some of our Christmas memories. Holy do this. There's a lot of video here from the 80s, the 90s, and the 2000s. I think it'd be really cute for Kendall and Kylie to see some of the past years of these four kids and what their Christmases are like. Let's do it. Do it. What is this? Uh, That's Kim with the pigtails. Every year, the pigtails. Look at these presents, Santa Claus brought. Look at those scooters. To it. She's ironing. Always the cleaner. Surprise! Where are you going? Look! Oh, what are you gonna do to me? I right, hooked it up. I'll give you a kiss. That's a top. Okay, just waiting then. No, no. Do you like that? Look at the Mavericks on the gingerbread house. You got me candy? Can't eat too much candy no more either. Okay. Too, I'm too fat. You're so unaffectionate these days. It's just. And you typically would like tone me down. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be here. I want to be in LA in my house, right? I think I feel. Damn, probably right. Whoa, you are emotional. I just wiped the makeup off your nose, freak show. I'm gonna get tired. If anyone copies me on this situation here. What? I already tagged those. I already bought them all last week when I was here. <laughs> For you. Last year, Courtney and I got into the most epic fight because she fully copied my lights. The guy yeah, called me and said, Courtney showed me the video that you sent. That's me. a lie. Well, they told That's me. That's a that. thousand percent lie. This makes me not want to have a big family because no one's original. I have warned everyone that I will come for them if they even dare try to copy anything that I'm doing this holiday season. Oh, I love this clear plastic. I want this for my wrapping. Last year, you copied my I wrapping. Just, no, I no, just no, 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 asked no. him for the... And okay. he's showing me the color so okay. I can choose my color. Do you have it in black or clear? I'm getting clear. clear. I'm getting it's clear. real black. Kind of, uh, Where is it in clear? It's right here. Oh. I'm not, I want it for my wrapping for my packages, not yeah. for trees. Yeah. So you do your trees, I'll do my no, packages. No, I might do packages. No, 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 no. So that's what they call black. That's cool. Because I need to switch it up this year. See, this is the kind of Christmas tree I want. I want like a real bark tree, but I won't tell all my ideas out loud. My mom is somewhere lurking. What vibe are you going after? Those are really I'm pretty. going for my same vibe as last year. Well, you know 
plushies do not talk about our vibes. That way, no one can, like, steal a vibe. Look at that gold angel. Oh, my goodness. Well, I just took photos of it. Uh-huh. You just said that because... Oh, no, I could show you in my phone. This brown poodle. I have all the info on them. Matches Kim's outfit. Can they be outside? <laughs> yes, they can. They're good for the weather. When it rains, it's fine. So what else are you doing? I don't know. When I think I found the perfect gift, you don't get as excited as I am. I have a video of you guys one year, and I gave you all matching Cartier watches. And the Cartier. reaction was not exactly what I expected. And then when I gave them some dolls, well, you guys, look at the difference. I believe you are all on this side, so I'm assuming that they are. Oh, my oh my God. God. Kendall. Uh, <laughs> That's so cute. Kylie, what'd you get? Using my Sherwood balls over. They're going, they're going to the Smithsonian as a grant in my name. I was excited. Kim was so excited. Kim is good to give a gift to. Yeah, Kim it's is Courtney so excited. That doesn't care. Yeah. Oh, I had a dream last night that I was getting this for my college graduation. Well, happy graduation. <laughs> I don't think I knew what was happening. I was probably drunk. I have no idea. Get a close up, Courtney. I do. I really do. The gorgeousness. Oh yes. my God. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm dying. You're welcome. I'm dying. Thank you. I think like, Chloe gets nervous when she gets a wrong. gift. Courtney doesn't care. I just get very uncomfortable like, when I get gifts. Me too. Really? I don't, yeah, I feel so it guilty. Is kind of like, weird. I, I just, feel guilty too. Okay. Oh, yeah? I do. Why don't yeah. you give back those watches then? So which one do you want to try first? Um, let's do this one. Okay, cool. Let's Is it some of this off? Yes, they took out 70% of it. But we can take more off if you need. <laughs> I mean, do you think we should suffocate? Should it be like this? Tighten it and then I can like loosen it after? We can add more hooks. And then after the carpet, if you want to like let it out a little bit, we can add an extra hook so that it's more comfortable. All right, where's Ariel? He needs to see this. That's an insane dress. No way in time today. Okay. If you there's rather one thing wrong, busy. that's all everyone's gonna talk about. You. Don't even worry. I gotta just, here, here, here. There we go. Hello. Hi. You look amazing. Aw, thank you. I'm so excited my to see you guys. Nice. You. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> you are beautiful. Oh you, my guys. goodness. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi, guys. Hello. 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 How are thank you? Thank you for sharing your thank son you with me. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, you want to take our photos by that bridge? Whatever I was thinking maybe the grass. Okay. I could do grass. If I stab you, don't scream. No, don't even worry. Wait, how, oh, oh my god, I dropped a pin. Holy f hold on. I can't curse in front of your family. Are you sure this? Do I do this? <laughs> yeah. I know how to walk on grass, guys. And people say you have no talent. Right. <laughs> oh my god, Chloe, we're heading to fall. Do you have the thigh-high boots with all the cutouts? I think I tried these before. It is never fun to be on the worst dress list, so I have to go on a major shopping spree. So badly that. You want everything. 
Kim has always loved fashion and always loved clothes ever since we were little girls. And she's always worked really hard to buy whatever she wants. But I think lately she's just going way above what she should be spending. Don't you think those are kind of cool? I do like those. I like that yellow shoe. Can I try those and those front croc ones? Yeah. She wants to. No, but my new trick is if you say yes, because I always say no to her. So if I say yes, I love it, she literally won't buy it. I'm going to try it right now. I'm going to see. These are like all the kind of boots she had. Do you have to unlace these all? I think you should get those. These? Mm hmm. thought about, you know, pierced ears. I see a lot of guys have that. Now I got the opportunity. Let's go for it. What is Chris going to think of this? It'll be interesting to see her response. Hold my hand. Okay, hold your hand. Thanks, Rob. I'll be That's fine. what I did when he was getting his tattoos. You had this done before. You guys ready? I think I am. I've never seen someone in the ears these days. That's it bad. It's not bad at all. Now, do you get one earring? Or two hearings. Rob, the second one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I'm never getting my ears pierced. It actually doesn't look bad. It's the new Bruce. You did it. Yeah. <laughs> I never thought this would happen. Yeah. All right. Actually, I was surprised. That didn't hurt at all. I want to go masturbate. What the life. hell are you talking about? I don't what know you, you say no to What life. you talking about, Willis? What the hell are you talking about? Anybody know where there's a 24-hour site open? There's a Carlos Jr. Get off here. Those crisp burritos sound pretty good. Like the Western Bacon $6 looks really big, huh? Uh-huh. Your price is coming. You're a gentleman. You're you're what I wish I was. Thank you. I'm so drunk right now. Have a good night. Huh? Rob, did you get fries? Give me some. Here you go. Here you go, idiot. Hey, 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 hey! Whoa, <laughs> whoa, 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 watch yourself, whoa, 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 Home is sweet home. Now, are you and Jesse sharing a bed, Bruce? <laughs> Bruce, are you already taking the shoes off? I want sleep. <laughs> see you, Bob. Yeah. We got to say his prayers. Good night. Later, Bruce. All I know is my ears are still ringing from that place. <laughs> In my car. Sorry, there's I told you a hundred times don't eat in my car. There's crumbs everywhere. You always mess up my cars every time. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, maybe I don't. Yeah, you do. These crumbs are not from me. Everything is from you. I feel like I'm in Star Trek in this car. Star Trek? Are we even gonna have time to go to Disneyland and then come back? Yeah, maybe. Why not? We're at three o'clock. Disneyland takes all day long. I have to pick up an order for the car at the shop really quick. The freeway is right there, and we're just gonna get on the freeway and go. Okay. It's on the way. Is this the same car as yours? No, this is a convertible. I like this one. Oh, you like this? <laughs> what is you <laughs> think? Is this a car for me? <laughs> you like your pink car? Wait, is this for me? <laughs> What's up, brother? I've never, ever gotten a gift like this before. How do you think somebody that gives you a Bentley? I'm, like, speechless. This is real life. Yes. I this is like all I'm, real. I feel like I'm dreaming right now. <laughs> I'm so grateful for it, and I have such an amazing boyfriend. <laughs>
I get to drive it home? Yeah, enjoy. It's like Barbie's car. <laughs> what do you mean? I think Barbie's car. I always wanted a pink car since I was little. There's like scrubs to clean. The toothbrush? Apparently. Dude, I could use that. So, you were upset that I don't want to shave for the photo shoot? Yeah, it's a little offensive. First of all, it's lucky enough that I can shave my legs. There's a huge stomach hair in the way, so like, you're asking a lot to shave down there, but I'm down. I just need some assistance. Listen to me. If you would have asked me, you would have known when I was 11 years old, I worked at a barbershop for three days. I could trim you up real nice. It's going to run you about 1350 though. Her bush is hanging out like it's the 80s, and I'm not going to stand for that. So if I got to get my hands dirty, I will. You're in the right place, little girl. You're going to use that? Honey, I'm going to part you like the Red Sea. That thing is not going inside of me. You have hair growing inside of you? No, but like the edges. You gotta get in there a little. I don't mind doing a little swooperini. Do you want me to lay here? Well, let's do a before and after, for instance. No. Stop, I don't want a before and after. What yes. are you doing? We're doing a little <laughs> vagine trim. Oh, God. All right, can we make some moves? Flip around. What about this? You guys. <laughs> I can't see anything, so this is a lot of trust. Are you being serious, Stop! Stop. This is disgusting. Are you looking at what you're doing? Because I can't see. He's looking. Ow! You're right, right. You're, right. you're kidding. Buddy. This reminds me of a water birth. It almost looks like she's giving birth to a little man with a very hairy little head. <laughs> you want to take a peek? Gorgeous. Shines like the top of the Chrysler building. All hooked up, partner. I give me that 1350. Boom, <laughs> there it is, guys. Yep. I see you, girl. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm Haley. Maisha. Nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Hello. Hello. I definitely trust Chloe's glam team. Anyone they touch it looks amazing. So let's just chat real quick about the hair. Yeah, real quick. This is the reveal. We want we, just bold. I definitely think it's time for a trim. My hair has grown so much. It's so heavy. When I work out, I feel like it's weighing me down. So for face, I I love glam. I love the whole like. Well, you sexy. have an amazing canvas to work on. First of all, by the way. Oh my god, I hear the scissors cutting. You hear, you're hearing glamour. Who are you revealing to? Well, my reveal comes with my revenge. <laughs> Got it. My revenge is on my father. Me and my dad have a little bit of a complicated past. And just growing up, he was very abusive towards me, and things were just like kind of horrible. I'm hoping over time that my dad can approach me after seeing all the hard work I've put in and how far that I've come. Hopefully I can inspire him to work harder on himself. If my father doesn't come tonight, then I have told myself at the end of the day, I've realized who he is and what he's capable of, and I'm still proud of how far I've come. I definitely believe that we should all forgive and move on no matter how long it takes. So this would be like a good release. Yes, yeah, it's a celebration. It feels so good to tell people that you worked hard on something and you really did do as best as you could. We're so excited for you. I'm like, just wanna jump because I know like this is such a big transformation and like such an amazing moment for you, so. Thank you, thank you for being a part of my journey. I am so ready for this reveal. Just my neck, you're not going any further. What, the machine? Mm -hmm. What do you do? You stab a little area. What? It has the pimple. Oh, this one is worth it. Oh. Okay. That one hurts. Well, it hurts for a reason. <laughs> We're not done? No, you have like a few here, but I, I don't have to if you don't want to. I should have been a esthetician. Okay, I'm done. Let's see what I got out of that one. Ugh. Oh. 
Oh, I can't take this up as a real hobby. The next customer coming in. Just kidding. So how's the baby? So good. I've you want to got... see her yes, today I've on a walk? Got... Oh, Hi. there's my baby coming in. Hi. What's Here... his name? Here's one of my babies. What's his name? Cruz. Hi, how, are how are you? you? Good, how are you? Good. How's your baby? So good. I was just going to show him a picture. That's I found a side-by-side -side of me and her. We kind of look alike, right? Oh, my so... God. You guys look exactly alike. So, I have to change look. Go. Sexy. You go. <laughs> What a luxurious dentist. Are you guys working on kid number two? Trying, but I'm wow. like. What is that? Your mean? wife looks so skinny. <laughs> she works hard at it. It's so really? hard. Does she have like I'm... stretch marks or anything? No, she's got that nice Latina skin. Ah, oh, you're so lucky. No, but I mean, listen, it's, you go through three kids, it's really hard. Things kind of. Move around? <laughs> yeah. Inside? Thank God for plastic surgery. Really? Well, I mean, you know, a little nip here and a little tuck there, it can't hurt. I know. So you look like you lost most of your baby weight, or all of it. Are you back to where you were? Mm-hmm. How hard was it? Or So much easier to gain weight. Mm -hmm. I just love eating. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, lift Please your chin. Please don't hurt me. I swear to God, I'm, I'm, it hurts me to hurt you. Okay, you're all done today. I'll, I'll check on Good you to later. See you. Hi, I'm a makeup artist obsessed with skin. Any excuse to go to somebody in the top of the skin industry and have them even look at my face is like pretty fing awesome. Okay, so I just need to get my assistant in here to help me. Hello. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm here to help. Well, help me That's pull this me. up. What is this? This is infrared, so it's helping stimulate her circulation. You can lose inches with this. Plus it just like your joints, like you said, your muscles are sore. It just kind of helps all of those things. Not only do I have Nurse Jamie sitting here, but now I have Khloe Kardashian, and that's surreal. So we're gonna put this mask on and then she's gonna put this silicone pad on because you're side sleeping. Oh. That's what these my little lines, problem. yeah. Oh. We're gonna put the mask Nurse on. Nurse Jamie knows I hate like the lines in my neck and I'm always right. like, what, how am I this old? She's like, you're not. She's like, you are a side sleeper. Like, yeah, it's the number three cause of premature aging is poor sleep position. Uh -huh. Jennifer Lopez sleeps only on her back and she has pillows around her. And mm -hmm. Anything J-Lo can do, we gotta do too. I'm never sleeping on my side again. I don't care if I have to surround myself with a thousand pillows and lay straight and perfect and never wrinkle. This is like a treatment that's gonna help on popping out these lines for you. I'm gonna have you come back every week and we'll get you ready. So, because I have like stretch marks and cellulite, he does a little more for me. You don't have stretch marks, I'm sure. That's okay. God is fair. God is fair. When you are photographed all the time, it's natural to have insecurities or want to change certain things about yourself. Oh my God, what are you doing, you guys? You look so pretty today. No, what about me? My turn. You look amazing. Did you darken your hair? No. Oh, she pulled it back and I had a picture. It no, 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 it was just that picture. I know, everyone thought my hair was darker. Yeah, we were talking about it today. What are you guys right. doing? I want to get my whole butt, the stretch mark and the cellulite laser that we're doing on my butt. I know, I don't really have anything to do. Stop. No, because I got a tan, so I can't really do much. So you're just here to enjoy the ride? Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? It's good. How good are you? Good to see you. Good. So are we ready for this? Yeah. Well, I got you a dress. Well, I see like your ass is so huge. I just don't know if it'll fit your ass. Do I give it to Kylie or do I give it to you? Yeah. What do you think we're doing? We're trying to make it smaller. Wait, what? That is so cute. It hurts. Is it good? It stings like a mother. <laughs> I just looked right into the Me light. Too. Is it gonna do something to us? Yeah, we've got I'm it. looking at it for the past 10 years. Nothing happens. Okay. <laughs> Whenever you guys want to go, I'm good to go. Perfect. Yeah. Yay.